Tactically, women cheat strategically. I mean, the, the whole point of the video is right in the title. You practically don't even have to watch the fucking video to get the point. The point is extremely simple. The reasons for it are important, but the, the, the point of it, the truism, the message I'm trying to convey, it's right in the title. Men cheat uh, tactically and women strategically. And it's for the same reason that, uh, you know, all the truisms I say about men and women are truisms, okay? It's all evolution. You see, the whole point of evolution, insofar as men is concerned, is to spread their seed as far as possible. Hmm? To have as many sexual partners as possible so that at least one of them or two of them will get pregnant by the man's child. That, that's the point. That's why all species, the males try to do this all in the time. They try to hump whatever crosses their path, right? Because they want to spread their seed. They want the maximum number of offspring. But women, on the other hand, well, it's completely different. You see, women, of course they want to uh, uh, conceive, of course they want to have offspring, but what they want is to ensure that the man will help them raising this child, because for a woman, a child is much more of a commitment, a commitment of time, a commitment of resources. So she has to ensure that the man uh, 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 giving her resources for her child and for herself mm, is going to be fully committed. And so that's why we have the institution of marriage, see? It's to ensure that the woman's child belongs to the man, and it's to ensure that the man via social pressure, is going to stay with the woman and provide her and their child with the resources necessary to survive and flourish. It's, it's as simple as that. That's the whole point of marriage. That's the whole point of the man-woman dynamic. See? And see, once you understand this very, very simple system of how it works, and by the way, this isn't just with people, it's with all mammals, okay? But once you understand this, then you start to understand why men cheat and what it means to men. For a man, cheating doesn't mean shit. Simple as that. See? For a man, you know, I mean, if it's not for social pressure, or often is not self-imposed pressure that's been socialized into the man by his uh, surroundings, his social environment, right? Well, the man is going to cheat every opportunity that he gets, you know? I mean, like, it could be that, uh, you know, you're a business guy, and you have to deal with some female lawyer, mm? and you meet with her and you do your negotiations and it all goes real smooth and you and the woman click. And you know, it's uh, four in the afternoon and your wife is expecting you home by six and you're like, uh, maybe we can get a quickie. And the woman, you know, is like, okay. And you know, uh, there you are in a hotel room doing the nasty uh, in, in the two hours before you're gonna be kissing your wife. And you're like, Jesus Christ, what a bastard. But no, the guy, the lawyer, all pinstripe suited and whatnot, he's responding to his biological urge. And he gets the opportunity to fuck some girl, he's gonna fuck her, of course. He's not gonna be thinking long-term. He's gonna be thinking short-term, tactical, right in the moment. Because he wants to spread his seed. He wants the maximum number of offspring. And the only way that that can happen is if he takes advantage of any and all sexual opportunities that crosses his path. But of course, it's not gonna be the same with women now, is it? Of course not. See, with women, they want a man who's going to invest resources, see? A man is with a woman. That man perhaps is um, the father of the woman's child or children, as the case may be. Now, the woman is dissatisfied with the man for whatever reason, but more likely than not, it's going to be that she is unsure that he can provide the resources. Often as not, in any kind of marriage or relationship, mm, the ability to provide resources and the perception by the woman that the man not, might not be able to provide the resources is a big factor in a woman's decision to find another guy. She might not even realize it, but she's thinking strategically. She's thinking long term. She's thinking to herself, well, this guy, yeah, I'm with this guy. Maybe he's the father of one or more of my children, but I'm not really sure if he can provide the resources. She might not even realize this on a conscious level, or more likely than not, she doesn't realize this on a conscious level. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that every marriage ends in divorce because of this. No, but a lot of them do. And anybody who's been in any kind of uh, long-term relationship where children are involved is concerned, they can tell you that if there are ever money problems, most of the time, the marriage frays 
Most of the time, the marriage gets into serious trouble because of the money issues. Yeah, because money, it's not an issue of money. It's not that the woman is a gold digger. It's that the woman is pursuing and holding on to a man who can provide her the resources. And when that is thrown into doubt, the woman starts to question the relationship and she starts to undermine the relationship. Mm -hmm. And she starts to look around, look around and see if perhaps, perhaps, maybe just, just looking here, huh? maybe there's another man who can provide the resources. Unless the woman is a whore, I mean like a complete uh, cock hopper, mm -hmm. a woman will rarely cheat unless she has lost faith in her man. Mm. Yeah, she will cheat strategically. She will look for other dick because the guy she's with is not satisfying her. And, and that's a key issue, the word satisfying. See, a man can be perfectly happy with the woman that he's got. Mm? That she's, she's a wonderful mother, a wonderful wife. She cooks, she cleans, she fucks him and sucks his dick just the way he likes it. Everything is copacetic. Everything is fucking beyond copacetic. It's fucking fantastic, right? And yet, you know, he's got the opportunity to fuck some girl and he'll take the opportunity. But a woman won't. Like I said, unless she's a whore, she's not going to fuck some guy just because, just for funsies. A guy will fuck for funsies. But a woman will never fuck just because unless the guy is seriously failing her. Unless, or the other possibility, she's with some guy and she comes across another guy that's just noticeably better. Noticeably better, you know, not merely in looks, not merely in personality, but in social connections, in money, in just uh, the, the general package. He might be uglier and shorter than the Chad that she's with, but if he's got a lot of social pull and a lot of resources, which is basically the same thing, she'll be thinking about him. And she might position herself to leave her Chad and be with the not very good looking guy who's got a lot more going for him. And to complain about this and to be all butthurt about it and to say that women are bitches and whores and whatever, that's just stupid. That's just unbelievably stupid because it's the way of human beings. It's the way of animals, man. We are hardwired for this shit. Hmm? Now, why am I bringing this up? Well, because, you know, I've been on uh, Twitter spaces quite a bit. You know, it's easy to be on. And what's interesting to me is that I get the chance to listen to a lot of different people, a lot of different people with a lot of different outlooks that I, I, I never would have considered before. And it's different from Discord because, you know, on Discord, there are lots of server chat, chat rooms where you can listen to people talk about this, that, the other. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, that crowd in Discord, they're nerdier, they're more into video games, Whereas the people on Spaces, they're just more normies. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're just a little bit dumber, <laughs> quite frankly. You know, they're, they're not hitting 100 IQ points. No, they're closer to like, you know, 90, 85, some of them. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, precisely because they're a little bit dumber, I want to listen to them. Because I want to I listen to what's, what's going on. And the funny thing is, of course, is that dumb people, most especially, well, smart people too. I mean, all people, let's face it. I was about to say, you just dumb people, but it's everybody. Everybody, all people, they fool themselves with remarkable regularity. They fool themselves and pretend things that are just not true. And one of the lies I heard on the spaces is that uh, men cheat more than women. No, they don't. No, 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 they don't. It's just about the same. It just has different significance for the reasons I've mentioned, for the reasons I've explained. So you have to understand what's going on, see? And here's the weird thing, and, and lots of people who haven't been in relationships don't quite understand this, but people who've been in relationship understand this perfectly. See, a guy, a high status guy, who is in a committed relationship, be it married or a long-term girlfriend, whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. he goes and cheats on her. Mm -hmm. Maybe once, twice, three times, four times. Maybe the woman he is with is aware that he's cheating with multiple different women. Most women in such a situation, not all, not all, but a sizable majority, 60%, they're going to be angry with the guy, but they're going to respect him more. They're going to want him more. And that's an ugly truth, but it's the truth. 
I mentioned this in one of these spaces here and there, and they just didn't believe me. They thought I was just like, just talking out of my ass. But it's the truth. And what's funny is that you talk to women quietly on their own, and they'll admit to this. They'll admit that, yeah, if the guy that they're with is cheating on them, you know, on the down low, real quiet, real discreet, you know, if she suspects that he's cheating, but she has no proof, she'll pretend that he's not, but she'll be more attracted to him. And if she finds out that he's actually cheating, they'll be furious at him, but they're unlikely to leave him. Hmm? If he's just cheating casually, tactically, hmm. that's the truth. Because women like a guy, are attracted to a guy who can pull other women. Because we're animals. Never forget that.